I can't remember. Whoa! <laughs> Come on, hit this creeper, please. Yeah, and again, and again, and again. Come on, let's go. No, no, no. Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Mighty High's World. This is episode 53, and the last episode, if you can see behind me, we got some parrots. We've actually got all five different types of parrots, which is pretty cool. So we also came from the Woodland Mansion and found a witch hut and also found a few other goodies via a treasure chest. So we got another Heart of the Sea, so that makes it up to 11 now. We found a couple of diamonds and quite a bit of iron as well. But these parrots are the main thing of last episode and as you can see, they've been here quite a while and started to poo all over the floor. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's happened here, but we'll go with it anyway, I guess. Um, yeah, I probably need to move. The These guys are basically telling me they want to be moved inside. So I think I'm going to have to find a home for them today. Uh, but that's not all we're going to do. We are also going to be starting decorating our base because I've kind of neglected that for quite a lo long time now. And it's probably about time we do it. But let's get on with the crux of today's episode. So as you can see we've we built this a few episodes ago now um, and we've got some living quarters uh, all on all four sides. We have two on each side, one bigger and one smaller. Um, so we could put our animals here but I think it would be a good idea to actually make some kind of aviary and cat place for them so the aviary would be for the birds and then we can make a house for the cats as well and so I think we're going to do that above our storage system what we can do is we can cut this bit in half and build a massive roof over the storage system then we can have half of this for the birds and then the other half for the cats so I think that's a pretty cool idea um, I wonder what you guys think so if you think that is then put it down in the comments below but the first thing I need to do is actually put a roof on my storage system or and fl or floor depending on what way you put it um, so I have got loads of concrete in this box here and I have got some dirt but I need to get a bit more I think so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically place dirt along that edge there, just the top of there. And then I'm going to then fill that, fill the dirt up with concrete and then get rid of the dirt on the bottom. That will be the most easiest way to actually build this thing because well, I haven't really got much concrete and this is not nearly enough to to make a floor plus making concrete the old-fashioned way where you put it in your offhand and you just swipe it with your pickaxe is quite boring and tedious another thing I forgot to mention is I need to actually get rid of all, all well not that but I need to make all these half slabs concrete as well which is probably where all my concrete's going to go to be fair with you but I think we can get it done. So the first thing I need to do is make the floor or ceiling for this place. So the floor for my storage system. So I need to basically get rid of all this and then put concrete down. So let's get on with that. All right, so it's time for a progress update and I've got half this floor in now. As you can see, it's looking pretty grand now. This is looking really cool compared to what it used to look like. I mean, this is what it look, used to look like. These horrible-ish uh, half slabs. And now we've got proper blocks in. So, and there's no connection to it. So this is looking pretty awesome now. Another thing I was thinking about doing, which won't take too long if I wanted to, is changing all the redstone into concrete as well. So I think I may or may not do that. It's probably going to be easier to do than not to do. Um, because I need to get underneath here to get rid of these blocks here. These half slabs here. So it might be actually a good idea to get rid of 
this redstone and then replace it with uh, concrete but I'm not entirely sure yet so I'll think about that but I've also pretty much only got two stacks of white concrete left which is a bit of annoying annoyance oh I've got a tiny bit left in here so I'm up to five stacks now or six stacks even I might have to go grinding for some concrete in the next few minutes which is going to be quite annoying um, but yeah so I will have to fit I'm going to finish off the rest of this floor and we can see what it's like after I've got rid of it and getting rid of these slabs also is really quite a tedious job I probably shouldn't have put half slabs here in all fairness but it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes so I'm going to uh, continue doing this and I'll get back to you once I've done the whole floor. Alrighty guys, so I am officially out of concrete now. I have a load of powdered concrete but I'm just going to have to spend hours uh, transferring that into normal concrete to do this floor but I've also decided to actually change all these bricks into white concrete as well and I actually think that looks a lot better the only problem is these hoppers have lost all their items so I'm going to have to replace all these items in there like so for example this is dirt so I'm going to have to basically go through all these hoppers and replace all these items so I'm just gonna have to do that and rinse and repeat all of these basically but first I need to get myself some concrete so let's luckily I made a load of concrete here I was planning to use this for upstairs but I haven't got enough so I'm gonna have to grab this and find some where I can actually transfer it into normal concrete so and it's night as well oh what a surprise but yeah so let's do this shall we basically uh, this looks like a decent area although there might be zombies attacking me I'm just going to have to do this for the next hour I guess so I've just basically gone to the guardian farm to repair my pickaxe as it was pretty much dead and I never knew phantoms could attack you in the air like that is seriously one of the funniest things I have seen in this game oh let's see if we can do an aerial battle hey where is he uh, I, there he is Wee. Wee. oh did I get him yeah <laughs> and I've got more on me oh what a surprise not to mention I've got one rocket left to get back um, well it's whoa okay we've got some drown to attend to as well and look how many mobs are on that island. Jeez, man. I've just realised I am in a bit of a sticky situation right here. But did I get that? No. Where did that thingy get off to then? The uh, membrane. What's down here? Nothing. Oh, there it is. Cool. So, we got three phantom membranes out of that. So, that's not too bad. So, let's just try and see if we can get home, eh? And that's the wrong direction. I'm probably going to have to swim home if, if this is the case. So the next day later and we finally have a concrete floor. So the next question is what to do with this room? Uh, because I haven't really got many ideas yet. The only idea I do have is because I've got a lot more iron now. I can finally increase the storage silos i.e. these things here so this we could have some chests here for example where these torches are and then we can probably follow these all the way around the room another thing I need to do is sort out all these chests these chests here are full of valuable items like TNT all my tools and stuff like that which need sorting out pretty soon and then all these chests here are just mass silo chests so some of this stuff is useful but I haven't got a clue where I can actually store this stuff apart from in a mass silo storage like this but the thing I want to also do now is get a roof on this thing basically I would like to put another roof on where that dirt block there is 
Um, so it basically means getting loads of dirt and I've got loads of concrete here at least so that's not a problem. I've used up quite a lot though doing this floor. As you can see this was a full chest and it's pretty much only halfway gone now but I've still got loads left so I'm not too worried about it. Also I had to move this redstone around a bit. It looks a bit janky but I suppose I could move the redstone around to that side or just make something different out of it instead. Um, that's another thing to be determined but first let's see if we can get a roof on this thing and also lighting is going to be an issue as well um, but I think I've got a load of sea lanterns somewhere uh, actually possibly not I've got four sea lanterns left by the looks of it out of four or five stacks by the sounds of things maybe I've got some in here oh yeah cool so I've got like five stacks of sea lanterns that will probably do just this floor alone let alone the top uh, so I'm gonna have to do a bit of AFK at me guardian farm but for now let's grab some dirt and start filling in the top of this roof all right so I've got the dirt in now this is just step one and that took quite a long time to be fair with you and quite a lot of dirt I mean it looks a bit ridiculous from here but that's only step one as I say and the next step is to grab all this concrete and to fly back up but I'm being clever now I'm using ender pearls yeah so let's see if we can like land on the dirt and we can yay and yeah I've got a slight mob problem up here as well but that's not going to be too much of a problem. Uh, so yeah, it's basically just placing down thousands upon thousands of uh, concrete now and also it's probably going to be a good idea to light the place up again. Alright, so the concrete is now in and if we have a look at our concrete chest, we have two stacks left, which is nothing. I've literally used up all my concrete and... I think I'm really low on gravel as well. Yeah, I've literally got like just over a stack and a shulker box left. Oh, that's not too bad then. I've still got a shulker box left of gravel, but I've used up a whole double chest full of gravel just to make this lot and sand as well. So the next thing I need to do is basically turn all of this into solid concrete and it's going to get rid of all these torches as well but that's going to be kind of annoying but unfortunately this is the easiest way to do it so this won't take too long at least but it's still a pain in the butt um let's try and grab these torches on the way back as well oh how dark is that <laughs> Yeah, so basically it's just placing a load of water essentially and then I've got to get rid of the water on uh, water Then I've got to get rid of the dirt at the bottom Which is easier said than done really. I think the easiest way to do that would be scaffolding blocks um, But dirt isn't exactly hard to get rid of if you've got a decent shovel. So yeah, it's just basically doing this again and watching out for mobs as well by the looks of things. So probably a good idea to light this place back up when I can uh, because they've just spotted like two zombies have literally just spawned in the matter of seconds. So yeah, so I'll get doing this and catch you once I've done it, I guess. All right, guys, so I've just taken a night vision potion while I'm lighting this place up and this place looks absolutely amazing with a night vision potion on like how cool is this apart from all the mobs that are like literally spawning right in front of me uh yeah i'm i'm kind of having a problem with these guys to be honest with you but whoa creeper yeah thanks for getting rid of the uh oh that's not good uh concrete for me i mean dirt for me even uh let's try and chuck a one chuck a ender pearl through there hopefully i can get this sorted out i'm like running around like a headless chicken at the moment just trying to uh place all these whoa that's not good ow like yeah i haven't lost any hearts yet oh saying that i've lost half a heart at the moment so it's not too bad at least i've just like literally got a load of mobs on me 
like oh and another explosion <laughs> this is quite a fun game but it's not exactly what i'm looking for at the moment uh so yeah i've got to like try and deal with this lot i guess <laughs> this is pretty funny actually Mo zombies are easy to deal with spiders are a bit annoying as well but yeah this is <laughs> pretty funny go away people please skeletons are just the worst if I was you, if whoa, there's even a skeleton jockey over there. That's not good. A skeleton, yeah, it is. It's like a, I can't remember. Whoa. <laughs> oh, shall I just let the creepers do it for me? Shall I? Come on, hit this creeper, please. Yeah, and again, and again, and again. Come on, let's go. No, 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 no. Damn it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Eek. Yeah, like, there's your creeper hole for you, at least. <laughs> How many? One, two, three, four, five, five, six creeper holes at the moment. Any more going to happen? At least I've lit this place up somewhat. But yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this, basically. I'll bear you the uh, boredom, but I just thought this was pretty funny, and they just keep spawning, so this isn't exactly the best thing. Oh, there's a zombie villager at least. We could cure him if we wanted to, uh, but I think I'm just going to kill him. Anyway, let's sort this out. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've got rid of all the mobs at last, and I've pretty much lit this whole place up. There's probably a few mobs here and there, like that spider that needs to go. Let's get rid of him like that and my bow needs replacing very soon but i still need to get rid of all this dirt so i think i need to find my scaffolding blocks there's a few here i've got loads of junk on like look look at how much junk i got just from killing all them mobs like 35 gunpowder loads of rotten flesh so this all needs to go back as well <laughs> Jeez, man, like 37 bits of string, bones, all sorts. But yeah, so let's grab some uh, scaffolding blocks. And I think this is probably going to be the easiest way we can do this. So if we just get back up here, probably need to gear up a... Oh, no, that should be fine. I think just doing this will be an easy way of doing it although it's not exactly easy to figure out where exactly you've uh, gone but I guess that'll do like kind of thing um, and then we can just easily pick this up if we've got enough inventory space we'll probably have to dump all this junk into another chest somewhere or well, we could put it through the sorter but something tells me it's not exactly going to uh, work very well because I'm pretty much low on chests and that dirt needs to go there. So yeah, that's basically what I need to do now is get rid of all this dirt on the top. Right, so we've got rid of all the dirt now and I've also decided to bring my cats in, but one of them's decided to sit on the chest. Um, not just my cats, my uh, parrots as well. Uh, they are all up here at the moment um, because I've come up with a decent idea for this room basically what we could do is we could have this all this area here from this point here where the circle is a massive fish tank so we can get every single sea bearing mob in the game apart from drowned obviously because they're just going to want to attack you all the time um and we could ha basically have a massive um fish tank in here i think that would be pretty awesome um but it obviously means that I'm going to have to do a lot of resource gathering as well because I'm pretty much out of everything. The only thing I'm certain of is I've got loads of sand. I mean, I've got this chest here, got about five, six shulker boxes worth of sand, which is the only resource I know I haven't got. But the other thing I do need is gravel because there's hardly any gravel. This is pretty much all the gravel I have and in this chest here which isn't much considering my whole base is made out of concrete and to make concrete you need sand and gravel so I'm going to have to do a lot of grinding in that respect but let's just jump up here quickly and also in the middle we could have like a little cat sanctuary with our birds as well like 
have a, like a perch for our birds on the top and then make like a nice little area for our cats to play around with like loads of like tables to jump around and stuff like that I think that would be cool we could utilize this area basically as a massive animal farm uh, without the actual animals like every tamed animal you can find like so it means that we're going to have to try and find some dogs and stuff like that but it's not going to be too hard to find the dogs and if there are any other animals you can tame in this game then they can go here as well so that is my plans for this area and also up there I think I'm going to have a mass storage silo um, for all my farms and uh, future farms as well because I plan to make loads more farms around this place the only problem is going to be funneling the items up here but I can't see that being too much of a problem but unfortunately I am out of time for this video so thank you very much for watching my name is Mighty High if you like this video then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads as well my name has been Mighty High and thank you very much for watching goodbye